हेलो व्यूअर्स सो आवर टॉपिक ऑफ टुडे प्रेजेंटेशन इज बाइपोलर जंक्शन ट्रांसिस्टर्स सो बाइपोलर जंक्शन ट्रांसिस्टर्स हैव बीन द ग्रेट कंपोनेंट्स इन टुडे इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंडस्ट्रीज सो लेट अस डिस्कस सम बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ बाइपोलर जंक्शन ट्रांसिस्टर्स Starting with the name, the name has been given bipolar because in this device the current is due to both polarities, that is electrons as well as holes. So the current constituting in this device is due to both electrons as well as holes. That is why it is called bipolar here. Bipolar means two polarities. positive polarity as well as negative polarity so positive polarity given by holes negative polarity given by electrons and the total current constituting inside the device due to both electrons as well as holes that's why it is called bipolar device so junction junction here refers to it is going to consist of two junctions here one is emitter based junction the other is collector based junction it consists of two junctions so that's why the name given as bipolar junction transistors so starting with the constructional details of uh, bipolar junction transistor it consists of three terminals one is emitter the second is base the third one is the collector so let us have a brief idea on each and every device so here if i start with the construction of this bipolar junction transistor it is a mixture of two diodes so i think you might have gone through the structure of diode it consists of one p material or p type material sandwiched with the other n type material this p n combination with two terminals will form a diode will form a diode so here only two materials have been sandwiched so p material or p type material is joining with n type material and here there is a junction called so we call this as a metallurgical junction metallurgical junction only one junction is present here only one junction is present two materials have been joined or sandwiched it will form a diode actually this is a construction details of a diode when two diodes when two diodes are joined it give rise to bipolar junction transistor here so you can join two diodes in this manner the first is p material n material then p material this is the first possibility second possibility is n material p material then again n material these are the two possibilities of making a transistor that's why we have two types of uh, transistors here one is pnp transistor the other is npn transistor pnp transistor nothing but so the p n material will form as a middle layer here p material will form as a middle layer so that's the basic difference between a npn and pnp transistor we will see the constructional details as we go later now these are the two types of transistors we have one is pnp transistor the other is npn transistor here you can see the basic structure here basic structure of npn and pnp transistor so this is an npn transistor consist of three terminals we will name it no problem so here p n p transistor it it also consist of uh, three terminals the three terminals here are p 
here you can see the terminal naming so if you can observe the general or physical appearance of a transistor here it will look like it consists of a body it is called body of the transistor that is the first terminal second terminal third terminal these three terminals are named as first terminal is named as emitter the second is base the third is collector emitter base and collector this is a physical appearance of a transistor this is a normal circuit symbol of a bzt so emitter base and collector let us have discussion on each and every terminal emitter so if you start with emitter emitter is a place or emitter is a terminal where the charge carriers or have been emitting that is it is going to supply the charge carriers charge carriers may be electrons or maybe holes based on the npn and pnp structure but emitter what is the basic function of emitter is emitter is going to supply the charge carriers charge carriers may be electrons in one case or holes in the other case that is so if you can see in npn transistor the emitter is going to supply holes to its junction in pnp transistor emitter is going to supply electrons to its junction that is a simple concept of emitter so the size or the area of emitter will be moderate and emitter is highly doped material or highly doped area so next one is collector so if emitter is supplying the charge carriers this collector is collecting this collector is gaining the charge carriers it is going to collect the charge carriers emitted by the emitter so for npn transistor collector is going to collect the holes for a pnp transistor collector will receive electron to its junction now the middle layer is called we have studied about one is emitter which is going to emit the charge carriers the collector which is going to collect the charge carriers but there is one middle layer which is called base which is of very thin size it is it is called as a transition region in the bipolar junction transistor so here if you can see the uh, size and doping concentration of all the three terminals base is a very thin region compared to emitter and collector so it is also lightly doped but emitter is heavily doped but moderately sized collector will have large size but moderately doped so this is a information regarding size and doping concentration of uh, three terminals so here are some important factors to be remembered regarding uh, uh, bipolar junction transistor if you can see here so if you can see here here we are going to have two junctions if you can see if here you are going to have two junctions let us go back to the structure here uh oh, here so you have two junctions here if you can take and this is emitter uh the base emitter and collector here we have uh, two junctions one is the first junction it is called emitter base junction one junction is forming here between p and n emitter base junction the second junction is the second junction is here the second junction is this one this is called collector base junction on a whole it consists of two junctions one is called emitter base junction and the second is collector base junction so now for for a basic operation for the basic transistor operation always biasing has to be done biasing is nothing but applying the exact or proper supply voltage to the transistor this can be happened by connecting this emis emitter base junction should be forward biased this collector base junction should be reverse biased so in this case the transistor is sought to work properly this is all about the basic constructional details of a transistor so in the next video we will look into the basic operation of npn transistor pnp transistor and their configurations
Thank you for watching.